So as you guys notice, uh, the housing market has been doing pretty well recently. Home prices have increased significantly, meaning that current homeowners are doing better. I mean, if you uh, owed more on a home that was worth less, that was a bit of an issue. You were upside down on that home. But now prices have been increasing steadily. And as a result, uh, current homeowners are really, really happy about it. And it makes it seem as if our economy is doing better and everyone's doing better. But the reality is there are all of these little companies popping up now uh, that are buying many, many foreclosed homes at once. One of those groups uh, is led by Steven Schwartzman, and it's the Blackstone Group. They have come up with a company known as In Invitation Homes, and recently they've bought 32,000 homes to the tune of $5.5 billion. And what they do is they buy these foreclosed homes, they renovate them if they need to be renovated, uh, and then instead of selling them, instead of flipping them, what they do is they rent them out. So it seems reasonable, especially considering the fact that it's really difficult for people to get mortgages this day and age. Um, it's really difficult for them to get approved for the loan. Um, so there is more of a market for renters, so it seems like a really reasonable thing, except they're buying these homes in areas uh, including Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Orlando, and they're kind of buying them in these fringe suburban neighborhoods that aren't really that desirable. So there's a huge chance that they're creating this, or they're not creating it single-handedly. Of course, there are many factors that come into place, but they're contributing to the next housing bubble because people are unlikely to rent in these areas. They're more likely to rent in areas that are um, urban, that are you know bigger cities yeah. where you have access to you know certain things like bars, restaurants, work. Yeah. So another housing bubble. What are the chances? <laughs> I know. So w we're going to talk about our own personal like interactions with the housing market and uh -huh. you know our future and everything I, I want to get to that but in terms of this like when you read the details of what they're doing in, in gobbling up this uh, this 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 housing and the need to build like we're not building enough houses to long-term keep up with uh, population growth in the US it all seems reasonable but as an American who has lived in the past few years in this country I don't trust anything that they're doing I either think that one they're gonna purposefully screw me or two they're going to be completely incompetent and they are gonna cause another housing bubble and it seems like at this point we're just hopefully you buy at the right time I guess under the right agreement to be able to weather the ine inevitable collapse of the future I don't know if that's unrealistic or from being conspiratorial, but that's just the experience that I have looking towards the future. I think it's a common fear among people that are looking to buy, and it is really difficult to buy something confidently, especially in today's market, especially when you see all of these reports indicating that the market's doing better. Um, yeah. If you were lucky enough to buy at the bottom of the market, great, but price of, prices have increased you know, upwards of 20% in the last year. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really difficult for a lot of people to buy homes at this point, and you, it, it seems like what they're doing is great because if there is a market for renters, well, they're buying these homes, they're renovating them, and what they want to do is they actually want to provide better customer service for people that are their tenants. So one thing that they keep mentioning is how you know it, traditional renters sometimes have to deal with absentee landlords that might not come and fix something when they need help immediately, but they want to create this sort of la um, hotline where you call in and say, hey, I, I have issues with my plumbing, come fix it, and you're supposed to have speedy, uh, efficient service, but who knows if that's really going to happen. The part about this that really troubles me is, first of all, there are members of the middle class that do want to buy homes, and they do qualify for these homes. But then you have cash buyers, or you have huge companies that you know have the resources to just buy, gobble up a bunch of homes at yeah. once. And then these middle class families can't find a single family home. So I have a problem with that. But the part of this that really makes me worry is, if they're buying a bunch of homes in areas that aren't desirable, and let's say they've taken out credit in order to buy all these homes at once, well, mm -hmm. what's going to happen if they can't find renters? We bail them out. It'll be fine. Th no big deal. That's going to be an issue. Yeah, no, my, my main concern is the same as what you articulated, the idea that they could be squeezing out the regular everyday families that want to buy houses in this area because if they don't have, like, if, if they can be outbid by a little bit, it goes beyond their budget, but as a big business who's looking to uh, for a, a midterm sort of investment over the next five, ten years, or something like that, then that sucks. And, and I know from my own personal experience, not even looking for houses in LA, it's horrible to be in that situation where you, you have no options outside of moving possibly tens of miles outside of the city center. Now, mm -hmm. it looks like a lot of these houses are in less desirable areas, so it seems like there might be more latitude for people to negotiate. But 
I am incredibly worried, and I, this might not be a great example of how paranoid I am about the future of American housing, but it, it doesn't look good. I it think, doesn't look good. Experience. And just to put everything in perspective, guys, because I definitely don't want to fear monger or anything like that. I do. Uh, this particular company only represents one three hundredths of uh, one percent mm -hmm. of the housing market. So it's not like this company can single-handedly destroy the housing oh. market, but it, this is just one factor, and this is, this is just one company in a wide variety of issues within the housing market mm -hmm. right now. So it's just something to take into consideration. Yeah, and it, if the incentives for this company are to do that, you can expect that probably other companies are gonna follow suit. Exactly. And maybe it's only one three hundredth right now, but 10 years from now, two three hundredths. Mm.